So, I have an announcement. I have a new addiction and it is selling used gear on Reverb.com. Okay, first things first, I am sunburnt and the reason why is this. And now that I am back in my comfy, safe space, I am gonna tell you about my new addiction known as Reverb.com and specifically selling things on Reverb.com. And please, before I get rolling on this whole Reverb.com thing and how I'm addicted to it, like this video, helps me out the algorithm, subscribe to the channel, I would love you forever. Now I know I've mentioned Reverb.com on this channel before, but that was strictly with purchasing things. Well, the other day I bought some new studio monitors. As you can see, my good old trustworthy BX8As are no longer sitting up there behind me. They're actually on my Reverb.com store. So the whole point of saying that is I bought something new and I wanted to replenish those funds. So I figured I had a bunch of old gear sitting around. So I might as well just toss those up there and see what happens. And I started selling stuff within 24 hours. And I didn't have my prices set super low. I had them set at, you know, approximately what the market was going for. I put free shipping on them and people ate them up. Some of the things that have been sold or maybe still in my store are my studio monitors, an old Mackie mixer, an old audio interface, wah pedal, an old Behringer mixer, and an old EQ pedal. I've never been somebody who wanted to sell gear. Never liked the idea. I still have all the guitars I've ever owned. I never sell anything. But some of this stuff has been sitting for 10 years. Or I just bought new versions of them, new and improved versions of them. And what really got me over the hump of like, okay, it's all right to sell, other than just replenishing the money I spent on my new toys, which I'll tell you about in a second, was the idea of someone else using this gear to then chase their dreams, enjoy recording, and enjoy the whole process. Because these things sitting in boxes, gathering dust, they do not do anybody any good. So that thought process kind of got me, got me going and got me selling stuff. The way Reverb.com works is actually pretty cool. So it doesn't cost anything to post something up there. What they do is they charge a 5% sales fee, then they charge a 2.7 plus a 25 cent processing fee. So for easy math, if you're selling something for $100, the selling fee would then be $5. 5% $5 of 100 is $5. The processing fee is then the 2.7 plus the 25%. So on $100, you'd be paying an extra $2.95. So if you sell something for $100, in the end, they'll end up taking $7.95. So not too bad, you don't pay anything up front, they just take it after it sells. There's another thing on Reverb that's kind of cool where you can do a reverb bump. And it's basically a way to push your listings to the top of the list to get it seen by more people. And the cool thing about that is you don't pay anything up front again. What you do is you decide what extra percentage you want to add to your overall sales fee basically. So let's say you want to really move something, you want to add another 5% to your sales fee, you just drag it over, pick 5%, so then you'll be paying 10% sales fee, but it'll be seen by a lot more people. That might be a good idea if you're selling like a crybaby wad pedal where there's a lot of people selling those and you want to kind of have yours rise to the, you know, the top. So all the things I'm selling on Reverb.com is going back in to replenish my music toy fund because I just bought a pair of Focal Alpha 65s. I've been eyeballing for a long time. You know, I was debating between those and some Yamahas, but in the end I went with the Focals. And I will be doing a video on them, unboxing them. I cannot wait, I cannot wait to hear how great they sound. So that's what I spent my money on. But in the process of that, I figured out how much I absolutely love selling things on Reverb.com. I've gone through a bunch of old gear, trying to find things I might not need anymore, but I think I've kind of hit my limit now. I think I've sold seven things or six things now. So anyway, so yes, go sell things on Reverb.com. It feels so good. And who doesn't like a little extra cash? So anyway, adios, like the video, subscribe. I'll see you later.